three, two, one. Afternoon. Um, it's Chris Gray, news editor of TTG here in the TTG newsroom, and I'm here with Rob Gill, one of our reporters. Um, and it's been uh, yet another busy Monday morning, um, confining the news to the news alert. And what's been going on this morning, Rob? Yeah, one of the big stories um, this week is going to be the budget and what happened with air passenger duty. Um, George Osborne is due to, met to announce um, what's going to happen with APD on Wednesday. And um, there's strong indications that um, the government is not going to rise, but put um, APD up any further this year, which is a bit of good news for the travel industry. Although obviously um, people in the industry would like them to go further and actually cut it. Okay, it's good stuff. So more generally, what's the reaction been to these reports that um, Osborne's not going to be increasing APD? Um, well, obviously, it's, it's, it's a good sign um, that maybe the travel industry's campaigning, particularly from after, is starting to bear some fruit, even though it's only a small victory, if it turns out that um, this happens on Wednesday at the budget. Okay, yeah, and if it does happen, it'll be a good victory for the um, fair tax on flying campaign. Uh, which is featured in this in Friday's TTG. So if you want to know more about that, it's down there. have a look at TTG online. Um, other news this morning: um, the Olympics is back in the news, and uh, Thomas Cook found themselves um, facing a few um, accusations at the weekend. I believe. Yeah, that was in, in, uh, in the Sunday Times. Uh, Thomas Cook um, got some criticism for um, sort of profiteering and having no high prices for their Olympic packages. Um, and Thomas Cook has responded quite strongly, pointing out that. Um, the comparisons that the Sunday Times have made based on um, hotel prices for this year rather than next year. And I, quite fairly, they, I think Cook points out that um, you know, hotel prices are obviously going to be much higher now in the Olympic year than now. So, um, so defending their position. Um, and they also point out that packages are not purely just tickets and the hotel rooms. There are lots of other things that are included in the package. Okay, so a fairly good defence there, we think. Yeah, we think so. Um, to, moving on to a place where um, hotel prices have been going in the other direction, um, in Egypt, um, there's a couple of um, developments today, um, one of which is uh, Red Sea Holidays, a tour operator, um, has said it's going to run some fam trips this May for um, agents to go and have a look at Egypt themselves, to go and see some new hotels that are opening in June, so they can see that um, the, the resorts are fine and they can not have any worries about sending their customers there. Um, so that's good news for agents, I guess. Um, the other thing about the North Africa crisis that's affected today is Ryanair has had to um, move its flights to um, Pontrapani in Sicily. Um, to Palermo. That's the first instance we've had of the Libyan crisis affecting um, the travel company, um, but we guess it may not be the last. Um, and on that note, um, we're running a poll on our website today um, for, for agents or anyone to say what effect they think the, um, the Middle East crisis will have on destinations and to suggest which destinations could, um, could have the most effect, if any. So, so again, go have a look at that and take part. Okay, thanks very much. See you next time. Yeah, I like